All right, guys. Welcome to today's video. As you can see, we got some 2042 gameplay in the background, and just um going over going over a quick movie review. Um, it's been a couple days since I watched the movie, so the details might be a little blurry, I suppose. And I've only got approximately uh, nine and a half minutes to cover it, but I'll do my best. Right. So on Netflix, there's a movie called Nightingale. It's set in um, the uh, British colonial area, or era, era, I don't know why I said area, um, in Australia. So, it's about a woman who seeks revenge on some British soldiers for committing some atrocities on her family. I try to keep it as short as I possibly can. Um, so, the movie starts off, and uh, it's a really good movie, by the way. So, basically, in... You know, spoilers ahead. I think it came out in 2018, so if you haven't seen it yet, what are you doing? <laughs> um, uh, first, first impactful scene. Uh, the pro protagonist of the movie, the an Irish woman that is a slave to this British officer. Uh, she's raped, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty lengthy rape scene. But I think the people, you know, like the people that make the movie, did a really good job. With the scene, because it makes you really hate the really hate the British officer, the lieutenant, um, and it sets sets the tone for the movie. Makes you feel for the protagonist, makes you want to root for her. So it's a it's a hard scene to watch. I would not say it's a family movie by any means. And then the next the next impactful scene is when the the husband of the Irish slave woman goes to confront the British lieutenant demanding his woman's freedom because she's supposed to be free but this is a really short review guys oh my god I only got eight minutes left <laughs> gotta condense a lot of these details and might skip over a few things but it's okay you get the gist of it um so he, he basically demands his woman's freedom and the British officer rejects his uh, demand <laughs> and they get into a little, little bar scuffle the superior of the British lieutenant sees it and he's not happy with it the British officer, or the British lieutenant, the lieutenant then gets uh, pretty angry about it, so he goes to see the couple in their dwelling at night. He makes the husband watch his wife get raped by the British lieutenant. The husband then tries to attack the officer, and the officer shoots and kills the husband. Uh, when the British officer went to the dwelling, he brought an ensign and a sergeant with him both both are lower rank obviously the sergeant is completely on a different tier than um than any type of uh commissioned soldier but uh well, off topic i suppose <laughs> uh, the the lieutenant the lieutenant tells the sergeant to have his way with the woman as well so this irish slave woman gets raped twice in one night and then on top of that she has a baby and the baby is crying and screaming and the lieutenant is yelling for the baby to shut up so the third man in the room takes the baby and smacks it against the wall and kills it once again guys this is a really short condensed review uh, i don't really get to go into a lot of details but it was pretty heart-wrenching to watch you know all these all these emotional scenes are really tough to watch but you know i, I feel like that makes that makes that a good movie when, it, when it's able to draw those type of emotions out of you um, and then after that the woman embarks upon a journey to, to call the lieutenant to his next uh, post his next area to do to exact revenge upon him the way that she's going to uh, get through the wilderness of Australia is by having an aborigine guide her and the lieutenant who is also traversing the wilderness of australia also has a guide i'm watching my gameplay right now and it's all like buggy and glitchy huh. <laughs> hopefully it's okay in the actual video but I'm not going off topic too much about halfway through the recording hopefully i can wrap this up neatly um let's see Throughout their journey to the wilderness, the Irish woman and uh, her guide actually develop a bond because they come to the, the conclusion that they both hate the British. 
because at this time the British were colonizing all the areas of the world that they could reach. So basically by colonizing, they're kicking out the natives, killing them, raping them, pillaging their villages, and disrupting their entire way of life and committing genocide. Honestly. So the Aborigine agrees to help this woman out in her quest for revenge. The first, uh, the first man of the trio that she's able to kill is the ensign, the one that's responsible for killing her baby. And that's actually because the sergeant along the way kidnapped a native woman so he could keep her as his little, little, uh, little plaything. And one of the aborigine tribes happened to track down the lieutenant and his men. Uh, long story short, there was an altercation. Um, the uh, the ensign, the one that killed the baby, was hit in the leg with a spear, so he wasn't really able to move too quickly. The Irish woman was able to track him down, and she exacted her revenge on him in a quite quite brutal manner. Uh, I say brutal, but I would say it's about about as close to, to uh, real life as you can get. And then after she kills this man, she, uh, you know the movie goes into. Um, Goes, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, alright, moving forward because the video is starting to wrap up. I realized, yo, when I first got all these video clips together, it was about 25 minutes worth of gameplay. But then I cut out all the loading scenes and it's only down to 10 minutes. Imagine that 15 minutes over over half of the video was just loading screens. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, getting back into it. I'm not able to do this movie justice in this short little time that I have. But, the, the Irish woman and her guide eventually tracked the lieutenant down to his post. And he, uh, the, her guide actually kills him. Uh, before that, she couldn't, uh, before that, the Irish woman confronts the lieutenant. And she explains to him that, uh, you know, the woman that she was before is no longer. And that she's a changed woman now. And then she walks out of the, the barracks area. And then that night, the, her guide goes into the barracks where the officers, um, you know, caught in a, uh, <laughs> caught with his pants down, quite literally, and he's, uh, he gets a spear to the chest, and then the sergeant comes running out the hall, shoots the native with a gun, shoots him in the gut, and then the native powers through it, power through, powers, powers through it, hey buddy, excuse me, powers through it, kills the sergeant, and then Irish woman and her guide go on horseback to the beach, and uh, they just, I guess they just gaze at the sunrise. Yo, it sounds terrible when I'm describing it in the short little time that I have. I actually recorded another video, a 30 minute, I, oh, actually it was 22 minutes. I recorded a 22 minute video on this movie on my way to the gym one morning. Um, but I recorded it on my iPhone, and my iPhone wasn't recording a format that's, uh, that allows me to edit it and play it on my computer for some reason. I gotta figure that out, but that's a side tangent. But yeah, yo, hey, long story short, the movie, I would give it a 10 out of 10, Nightingale on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, it's definitely not a family movie, so watch it without the kids. The scenes, the scenes are hard, the, the tough scenes are hard to watch. They really are. They're really hard to watch, but that just means the screenwriter, the director, uh, you know, they did a good job of making the movie. The movie makes you feel, I feel like it's a good movie. But thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, you gotta drop a like, leave a comment, comment anything. Uh, let me know what the last, uh, last movie you watched was, and I'll go watch it. And maybe I might do a review on it and give you a shout out. For my 500 subscribers that watch my videos, thank you so much. Uh, I think I'm just let the video play out for the last 30 seconds. I don't really have much, I, I can't really start a topic and, and end it in 30 seconds with the way I talk, but I will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.